Happy Wednesday, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. And today we're looking at the very last psalm in the book of Psalms, Psalm 150. And I'm going to read this to you and see if you can guess what the theme of Psalm 150 actually is. Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty heavens. Praise him for his mighty deeds. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with a trumpet sound. Praise him with lute and harp. Praise him with tambourine and dance. Praise him with strings and pipe. Praise him with sounding cymbals. Praise him with a loud clashing cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Did, did you catch the theme? I'm pretty sure I don't have to read it again to tell you that the theme is praise the Lord. Praise God. The, the psalmist ends this collection of prayers and meditations and songs uh, by saying, hey guys, don't forget to praise God. Praise God no matter where you are. Praise God no, with, with everything you've got. He lists all their modern instru instruments at the time. We don't use most of those nowadays except for uh, what I noticed was, you know, tambourines and strings and cymbals. And notice he mentioned cymbals twice. So if you're averse to having drums in the sanctuary, um, you at least need cymbals to be biblical. Uh, he even mentioned praising him with the dance. I praise God by not dancing because when I dance, it, it really bothers people. So, um, but that's okay. The, the message is this, praise God. Praise God. So are you doing that? When, when you get up in the morning, do you praise God? Do you praise God for the breath that he gave you, for another day of life? Do you praise God for the people in your life, the relationships that you have? Or are you going to God with complaints? Are you going to God with complaints for the people that are in your life because they're not living up to your standards? They're not blessing you the way that you want to be blessed. See, here's the thing. God's given them to you, and he wants you to bless them, and he wants you to praise him for putting them in your life. Okay? Are you doing that? Are you praising God? Are you praising God for the beauty that's around you? And I know some of you are going, but it's 120 degrees and it's hot. Yes, but it's still beautiful. And he's given you air conditioning and ice cream. I mean, those are things that kind of counter the heat a little bit. You got to praise God for that. Are, are you praising God for his goodness in your life? Because let's face it, without Jesus, we're all going to hell. I mean, you and I deserve hell, and, and yet because Jesus loved us and gave his life on the cross for our sins and was raised from the dead, if you believe in Jesus, you're going to heaven. I mean, no matter how bad anything else is in your life, the promise of heaven kind of trumps all of that. And in fact, the Apostle Paul said it in Romans 8, 18. He says, I do not consider this present suffering worth comparing to the glory that will be revealed in us in Christ Jesus. It just isn't worth comparing. So we got to praise God for that. You go, yeah, but I hurt, my body's broken, I'm sick, I'm dying, I'm afraid I'm dying. Yeah, well, guess what? You get a new body, you get eternal life, so there's no reason not to praise God for what is to come, even if the moment is painful. Praise God. That's the word, no matter where you are. Not just in church. I mean, that's why we sing, by the way, in church. Even if you don't sing, we sing because we want to praise God. We want to help you be obedient to God. But here's the thing. This isn't just limited to an hour a week in worship. This is all the time. Praise God in every moment, with every situation. In fact, the Apostle Paul echoed it when he said, in all things give thanks for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. This is God's will for you to be grateful, to thank God. And, and here's the one that captures me. This is my goal in life, if you will. Verse 6 says, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Hey, you're breathing right now. You're watching this. You have breath. If Jesus has changed your life, you should praise God. In fact, my prayer, my goal for my life is that I would praise God with my last breath. And really, everyone until I get there. Um, I'm just as tempted as you to complain, to gripe, to see the faults in others, uh, all of that. But I choose to praise. I'm going to praise God because he's worthy of our praise every moment of every day. So join with me in praising God with every breath that he gives you right up until the last one. And then we're going to praise him forever in a place called heaven. I hope that you are ready to step out into the day and praise God. And if you've already been complaining, just repent and start praising him now. Have a great day, Calvary. God bless.